Hello. Hello. Hello, Natalie. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. I'm okay. all. I have all the things you told me ready. So we are going to have a lot of fun today. I so let so. me say hello to the people in the chat. Um, hello, everybody. Hi, Martina, Karen, Asia, Anna. Wow. Um uh, hello Terry Nieves Hadri. Oh my god, all the teamies are here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Silvia, Mari. Hola Gracia. Hello. Wow, thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey Dina. <laughs> okay, guys, so before we start the session today, can you do me a favor? You have this share button down below, or you can just take a screenshot. Smile. Um <laughs> Share it, share with the people that we are here, we are live, we are going to have a lot of fun today with Natalie. I'm going to be the guinea piggy today. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to be the teacher, so I'm super excited. Yeah. <laughs> so, while people is joining, Natalie, tell me a little bit about you. Where are you from? What do you do for life? Um, how you end up in mixed media? What do you like about Lindis? Okay, so I'm Natalie. I'm uh, from Germany. We're living on the Swabian Alp. <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, yeah, that's um, on the countryside okay. <laughs> in the south. And um, I started doing mixed media in 2015, and um, I was having an accident at that time and oh. uh, couldn't move very much and started doing centangles and okay yes uh was expanding that so uh to much more coloring and uh, stuff like that and somehow i then found some sprays and totally got addicted into this whole art journaling thing you got <laughs> trapped know. it was just <laughs> like like a moment and I was starting my first journal and haven't stopped since then. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so, you are very much into spray, sprays or magicals? Both, both. both it's always, okay. always faces. <laughs> and I saw you also use a lot of embossing powders, so I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure we are going to have a lot of fun today. I'm sure we will. <laughs> so, for you guys that are there in the chat, if you want to create along with us, that's a great idea. Um, so I think instead of you showing the mini challenge rule at the end, I'm going to show them now so people can run and bring the stuff and create along with us. Maybe that's more fun. So let me mm -hmm. show um, the mini challenge rules. So, oh, they are too small. I cannot read. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to read. <laughs> so, guys, um, you have to create a new art journal page for the um, challenge. It doesn't say art journal page, but it would be very cool if you do art journal instead of any other thing. So, you have to respect the wider open space, um, add a vintage touch. You will see now what we mean with vintage touch, and use the person as a focal point. And you have to use at least three Lindis products. And um, you know, the typical things like uh, upload one photo to the album on our Facebook group that is called Lindis Creative Gang, or share it on Instagram with the hashtag Lindis Signature Style Natalie. And you have only three days to play. So, ooh, very exciting. I will show the rules again at the end. And I will share it on Instagram and Natalie will share them on Instagram and you will find it also in the group. So no problem. If you cannot find it, message me. <laughs> okay, so Natalie, you told me a little bit what do I have to get ready for my challenge? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to share that with the audience. So okay. I got some gesso. I got old paper book page because i'm using my journal and not an old book maybe you are using old book that's fine um i have some dice i have some stamps 
I have stencil, texture paste, uh, Lindis sprays, and Lindis uh, magicals and embossing powder. And I think that's all, right? I think so. Yeah, so sentiments, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. A photo. I got a photo. Yay. Because this is one of the things you need a person as a focal point. Look how cute. Okay, guys. So I'm going to put again this intro theme while we flip our cameras so you don't see my ceiling or anything. <laughs> um, oh my God. 43 people watching. That's insane. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you our faces in that beautiful thing while we flip a camera don't go don't move we'll be here Okay. Yeah, here we are. Oh my God, we are so professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. It came so good. <laughs> so, okay. So, wow, much more people joining. Like, hello, Lanette. Hi, Daniela. Hello, Oriana, Anna. Oh my God, Susie. Cassiopeia, hello, Alexander, Elena, Marietta, woo, woo, woo. everybody joining. This is so Yay. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> 50 people. That's great, guys. Thank you. So, okay. Tell me, how do we start? I guess I had to put my paper here somewhere, right? I should. Yeah. That okay. would be good. <laughs> so, I'm working in a... Uh, in an old book, so okay. I have glued some pages together so that I have a more sturdy surface. So I think for you it would be cool if you just glue your paper down. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I will, I will cut you. Don't worry. So, hmm. let's do it a little bit irregular. It. So I have my soft gel that I'm going to add in the back. Mm -hmm. um, if I find the spatula, or not, not spatula, uh, brush. That someone stole from me. Okay, <laughs> here. Yeah, my husband is always stealing things. But you can start also, Natalie. I will continue. Okay. okay. So I'm starting with a very light layer of gesso so that the text which is on my pages still shows through. I don't want to lose all of that detail. I just want to tone it a little down okay. and so that it's not too busy in the background because uh, we're adding things that will make it more busy then. <laughs> okay, so you are adding white gesso to the page. Yes. Okay, I got my paper that I can glue here. So you see, guys, you have several options. You can use an old book as a journal, or if you are like me that are using white paper, you can just stick a little bit of old pages. I'm just going to make sure the edges of my paper are not going anywhere. I think you could also use some uh, pattern or printed paper if you don't have old book paper. Okay. Okay. I want to protect my paper first with a little bit oh you said white yes so white yes so it's fine white yes so oh come on 
I am really enjoying these signature style challenges. Thank you, Lanet. Uh, I think it's very cool that we can see how people that are very into Lindis use them on their different ways. Um, so hopefully everybody is going to enjoy this. I'm giving this a quick uh, dry with my shoes. Okay. I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> No, uh, you know, the okay. phone has something very cool that when you are using the heat tool is not, uh, we cannot hear it, it's fine. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, so good. And then I have um, a product here that is called Aqua Ground. Um, okay, you told me which, something similar to clear gesso. Yeah, it's uh, it works really similar. Um, I think there might be a few differences, but I think both of them were great. So I got great results with Lindy's with aqua ground as well as with clear gesso. So yeah, so you I think that gesso, is more, that's also more like for <laughs> fine arts. I will search in and I only could find it in fine art store so maybe guys clear gesso is good hello sonia hi Juaneli. susanna hey sam So uh, we need to protect the paper, obviously, because if you are using old book, it's not going, yeah. uh, it can be ruined, you know, like it can tear apart or something when using a lot of products with water, like Lindy's sprays or anything mm -hmm. like that, or the texture paste. So in order to avoid that, we are going to protect the papers with the gesso yeah. or the, what was that called? Aqua ground. Aqua ground. I'll show it again. Aqua ground. Okay. Hola, Amparo. Hello, Sneha. More people is joining. This is crazy. You know, like I, I think you have a lot of followers Ooh. that came to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get a few people to uh, come to the stream, but <laughs> Sunday evening is always a difficult time because <laughs> family time and so. But I'm happy to see some people here. <laughs> Okay, so I think we have it covered. Let's dry. Hi, Natasha. Okay, Karen uh, said, see, I didn't know you could gesso on top of the, on top of the gel. So I always thought if I gelled it, I then couldn't use watercolors. So when you are using a gel, it's going to be a glossy surface, even if the gel is matte, it's not going to act like a gesso. So yes, you can do your gel and then do the gesso and you are going to be perfectly fine to use any lindies or watercolors. Hello, Aditi. <laughs> okay, where is my... Okay, question. No, no, question. Why are you using clear gesso over white gesso? Is it because Lindis react better with clear gesso? No, it's because I didn't add the white gesso everywhere and I want all my surface to be homogeneous. <laughs> I think uh, that clear gesso has another grip, I would yes, say, An another exactly. grip than, than white gesso. Yeah. Okay, so thank you, Moita, for saying that. Uh, she said, like, share, and subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. <laughs> you have that ring uh, bell button. Just click in there and select all notifications. So you will never miss a live stream because, you know, Lindis educators or Lindis ambassadors, we are quite active and you will have at least 
two live streams every month. So click in that bell, you will make sure you won't miss any. <laughs> okay, uh, Natalie, I wanted to come to every live stream because we have now 72 people. <laughs> Okay, so if this works and uh, I don't get a heart attack because I'm a bit nervous, <laughs> then we can do this again. Okay, Karen <laughs> said, oh my God, Karen said, I've come to the conclusion that Nuneka likes to clear yes, so everything, absolutely everything. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> as uh, you know as uh, Natalie said clear gesso has this grip that is going to hold the Lindis shimmer very well so yeah. it's a good idea to do that yes. okay I see <laughs> Natalie is picking the stamps let's do so some stamps I'm going to do the same <laughs> picking my stamps yeah I have an all and create stamp here because okay. I like letters and I like numbers. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to watch first what you do and then I'm going to repeat. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I don't screw it up, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, I just take my uh, my stamp and stamp it in some places and I try to uh, keep it more to the edge of the page so that I have some open space <laughs> which we have in the challenge so that i have some open space in the middle of my page okay open space in the middle of the page i like Sounds open good. space <laughs> hello samela so good to see you okay so i'm going to pick one of my very favorite stamps from ever and ever and my archival ink because we want it to be kind of uh, distressed, like not perfect, yes. right? Okay. I worked here in uh, groups of three, I would say. <laughs> so something so free clusters on my page to uh, draw the attention <laughs> obviously my ink is quite dry so i'm going to go with something a little bit more juicy i re-inked my <laughs> ink pad yesterday <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going to stamp first on a white paper, so I'm going to remove some of the ink because this Versa Fine Clear is super juicy. Yes. Okay, now that is better. Yeah, much better. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me really nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous too, so we're too. <laughs> so Michelle say, woohoo, made it to a live on Living This Gang channel with two amazing artists. So exciting. So thank you so much, Michelle. You are very kind. Hey, Svetlana. <laughs> oh my God. All our nice teamies are joining. Yay. <laughs> you guys have access to such awesome stamps. Mm. You know, I think it's not so much about what you use, but how you use it. I think. Okay, so maybe this is enough. It looks good. It looks good. Hmm. It hmm. looks very good, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more. Good. Okay, I'm happy with that. 
Wonderful. Now what? Ha ha ha. Ah, let's do some stenciling. <laughs> okay, stenciling. Okay, so I tell you what I want to do. Uh, yeah, please. I have this uh, graphite texture paste, which is obviously gray or dark gray. <laughs> I have the old bottle, but it's the same texture paste. Ooh. <laughs> It's one of my favorites because you can do it's very so cool, cool stuff with this and lean this embossing powder. Yes. And I have um, Dragonfly Denim embossing powder because it's a bit darker but also sparkly. And I want to combine these two. So I will add my texture paste with a stencil. And okay. then I will add the embossing powder on top. So um, to get some sparkly effects in that graphite paste but you can do that with white uh, texture paste too so it works too i just like that it's not uh, having a too high contrast here and this enchanted forest sparkle is amazing <laughs> okay so i'm going to combine two i'm going to combine the same one um dragons um Dragonfly denim from the mm -hmm. Enchanted Forest, and also my favorite hyacinth blue jade. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add both of them. Okay. So are you going to add the stencil randomly, or uh, I will try to oh. add them in the places where I already stamped, so a bit overlapping, so that you can still see some of the stamping. Um, okay, but. It's not too um, too busy, so. Okay. I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, Svetlana said, "Nunu, my Russian friends ask, what is the brand of the stamp you are using? It's all and create. Uh, so I use three six seven and three eight four." Those are the two stamps I use. And I think Natalie also used All I Create. They yes. are great for background. <laughs> I have number 400. 400, okay. Yeah. Okay, if you hear some weird noises, first <laughs> were my neighbors in the garden because it's sunny day here in Spain and hot so they were playing with the kids and i think the kids are now gone and he decided to make i don't know something in the house and i can hear he's moving the furniture or something so i apologize in advance if you hear some weird noises i'm a bit jealous now because you said you had a sunny day <laughs> you know spain is part of africa already i can tell you <laughs> The last time it, it was raining here was in New Year's Eve. So oh. imagine the drought we are having this summer. It's going to be awful. But I saw it's really bad weather in the rest of Europe. Yeah, we had a storm this week. Yes, oh, two, so two please storms, send actually. them here. <laughs> if you send some sunshine. <laughs> okay, we can swap. <laughs> Okay, so I got that and I'm going to add a little bit more here so it's not so empty. This stencil I'm using is from Alexandra Renke. It's called, I think, North Pole and it's my very favorite from her. Hello, Diana. <laughs> Hi, Olga. I know who makes that. I love circles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Oh, I'm just cleaning my stencil. Okay. I think I got it. And I'm going to leave this into water. If I find the container, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so instead of drying now, we are going to sprinkle the embossing powder on top, right? Yes. Okay, that's a great idea. Okay. 
Oh my god, graphite paste all over my hands now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's get messy. So, okay, good. Now I also need vertical art book. It will be my fifth unfinished journal. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I have a million unfinished journals, I think. <laughs> I think I have never finished any. Uh, I have finished a few. I don't because in some point I make a page that I hate and that I cannot cut or something. So I, I stopped <laughs> working on that journal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I always want to change and want another format or another size, another material. I don't know. I always start a new journal every week, I think. <laughs> Okay. Ah, the circle stencil. Uh, it's Studio Light Circles Artists Atelier number 63. So I'm just going to heat that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna hit mine too. Natalie? Okay, okay. Oh, that was. <laughs> Journal is finished when you don't work in it anymore. It could be 5, 50, or over 2 pages. Oh, that's a great way of looking at it, Asia. Natalie, uh, can you tell me please where is the stencil from? She just said that it's from Studio Light. Yes. I put that into the camera but again. <laughs> Tell us about your stencil. <laughs> I like that stencil. Yeah, everybody's asking about the stencil. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool one. <laughs> ah, this always takes a while to dry, I think. Embossing powder and texture paste. Can you believe it? it's the first time I use this uh, dragonfly denim in a project? And oh what? my god, <laughs> how much I love it! It's so cool. <laughs> it's fantastic. And you know, as my ink uh, was this one, the Versafine Clear, it was not completely dry when I uh, oh. added the embossing powder, and some of it got uh, stuck to the stamping. And it's looking really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay. So I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, so I'm checking the chat. <laughs> I think never use all the pages of our journal, said Oriana. I'm going to take advantage of the silent moment and drink some water. Okay. 81 people. Natalie, you are going to beat the record. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping to see some cool projects this week. <laughs> 
Yes, guys, uh, you know, because you always said that we do amazing things and I wish I could do like you. You know what is the difference between you and I or you and us is that we do more. It's only that. It's not like we are super talented or we have been born with a gift or something. No, it's like we do a lot. So we also do a lot of mistakes and we learn from those mistakes. So, hey. <laughs> Cassiopeia is working with us. Oh, that's great. Thank you. So, yeah, you know, um, I remember when I started, I was trying to join every challenge I could find. I had a list mm -hmm. to do all the challenges every month. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how I fell in love. Uh, I fell in love with Lindy's because... Lindy's challenges are always great. The color combos and that. And now that we have this little extra of the element, it's even more cool. Mm -hmm. And this mini challenge we do now, the ambassadors. Come on, this is just, you know, for having fun. And as I always said, the more people participating, the more gifts we are going to give away. So if Uh, the number is under 20, I will give away one voucher. But if it's over 20, I will give away two vouchers for the store. So the more you come, the more vouchers will be. <laughs> <laughs> Sunila, hello. <laughs> She said, you motivate us. Oh, that's, that's great. Thank you. Svetlana said, more often I am on the step doing mistake. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna add a few more stamping here uh, okay because i managed to cover all of it <laughs> so i'm going then to check where i'm going to place my guide to see if i need more stamping hmm, i feel like okay with it yes maybe i could add something else come on why not Oh, thank you, sweetie. You are amazing, Cassiopeia. So, looks better now. I think. Oh, I have a, a stamp that I adore. And it's because of Tracy Evans. She made me love this little guy. It's this little circle with numbers from the four, five, Three, this little guy. Oh my God, mm. I could add this to every <laughs> journal page. I see a lot of Russian there, so please, Olga or Svetlana, let us know if, if there is something that we need to reply because sadly I cannot speak Russian. I wish I could. That would be very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine one morning you wake up and then you suddenly speak Russian. That would be that fantastic. Would be interesting. <laughs> so, okay. I have some sprays here. <laughs> so, this is uh, Outer Space Aqua Starburst spray. I also have a Moon Shadow Mist um, Treasure Island Aqua. And I have Fairy Garden Green here from the new Enchanted Forest set. Okay, so I got Bucaner Bay Blue. That's a fantastic one. Smoky Sapphire and Azure Sea Asters. Because Natalie said that uh, we have to add the vintage touch, and the easiest way is to use the Moon Shadow Mist, that are the vintage line of Lindsay Sprays. So if you don't have these guys, let me show you a little bit my not complete color chart. <laughs> I still have to bring some of them. So the Moon Shadow Mist, they are like brown or sepia color and they have different um, mica shimmer on it. So you can see 
that they are mainly brown, but when I move them, you will see the difference. Some of them have the blue shimmer, some the purple shimmer, uh, green shimmer, for example, this one. Ooh, look at that. Great. So these are perfect for the vintage touch. Okay, now you tell me what to do. Okay, so I'm starting to spray with uh, Outer Space Aqua. As Vetlana said, all Russians in the chat love your journals already and want all the stamps and stencils you are using. We need to order a box of them. Svetlana, maybe you should start a shop. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to spray in the areas where I already put my stamps and stencils so to keep that okay. uh, open space there. Okay. Mine is not very open, it's only open on this side. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So I'm afraid I'm going to ruin everything. So I'm going to use my paintbrush to add the stamp, the, the spray. Okay. So I've added a first layer of color and we'll now give this a quick try. Hadri said, Tawny Turquoise is my favorite moon shadow mist. I think mine is a smoke as a fire. I really like it. Okay, I so love I'm going Treasure to Island pick... Aqua. But I had this, uh, I don't know, what is it called? Land Lover Green, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently I shared a page where I combined that with Dragonfly Denim and it looks so awesome. Oh, I but, need to try that. Yeah, because you have that gorgeous blue and this really dark blue and then there's some green shimmer in it. That's fantastic. And uh, while I'm drying my page, I'm uh, from time to time dabbing away some of that color to get some kind of stains or splatters and that's really cool because that creates awesome layers. So obviously I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just going to do whatever she does. She dries, I dry. <laughs> I think... Hi Natalie. <laughs> she said, think... um, okay, Caroline, hello. She said, Hello, Monica. Natalie Moonshadow Mist was my first introduction to Lindis. Back then, they didn't contain a binder. A binder. Oh, but that was a long time ago, I think. Like, Moonshadow Mist were the very first Lindis sprays. They were designed by uh, Lindis. Lindy, I mean, like the mom of the uh, actual owner. Her name was Lindy. <laughs> that is why the brand is called Lindy's. <laughs> so uh, she, she came with those moon shadow mists. Outer space, aqua, all that, okay. No, that's. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Sam said, that's what we do when we are following you, no, no. <laughs> I guess. I guess, yeah. Okay, so now you are using the moon shadows. Yes, I learned aqua. <laughs> and I'm spraying right over the green that I added. Okay. And let's get the vintage look then. Immediately. <laughs> And I'm trying it again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk to YouTube, so they will give me a bottom so I can translate all the Russian that I can see in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
I think that Svetlana and Olga are telling the Russian girls uh, the difference between Moon Shadow Miss and the Star Wars The Sprays. And I can see also a lot of French friends. I really feel like adding a little bit more of the brown, darkest brown. No, no, don't worry. Mm -hmm. We are just translating to Russian girls what you are saying. Oh, you are so super kind, Svetlana. Thank you. Hey, we have the great best seller. TVs. <laughs> I Indeed. always tell everybody that Lindy is the, great, the greatest team in the community, I tell you. It is. It really is. <laughs> Anna asked me, what is your blue spray you use first? Is Azure Sea Asters. I love it. It has this blue shimmer and it's not very dark. I really like it. Hey, Nora, hello. One more of the ambassador came. <laughs> okay. Natalie is drying, but I'm going to add more brown to my page. <laughs> <laughs> Just there. <laughs> I and think I'm when it comes to, to add... Lindy's stairs, uh, you can't have too much. <laughs> That's true. Um, you know, like Lindy's are translucent. Mm -hmm. You can keep adding. Not forever, but you can keep adding. And yeah. it's, you are going to be able to still see through them, which is mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah, and I like that they always react with the layers underneath, so you can get some really cool and dimensional effects. So... I'm gonna get myself such a very small pan brush <laughs> and start adding some splatters, because I love splatters. <laughs> welcome okay so now some splatters i see yeah with the brown yeah but i will add splatters with the other colors as well okay perfect yeah, it will become a vintage look, yes. Okay, so some splatters. Ooh. I'm going to dry in between so I don't mix them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anna said, add it to the card. <laughs> okay, and now some splatters of the blue. Thank you, Natasha. Have to do something to hold my corners. 
And I said, yeah, lean this side, open this side. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way so you don't forget the colors we are using. Actually, it's a great idea. Okay, we have a question here. It said, Natalie, why letter M or S is on the top of your bottles? Ah, I also have Fs. <laughs> so um, I have them in a drawer and I put a little swatch on the top and uh, write an S for all the Starburst sprays, an M for all moon shadow mists and an F for flat fabulous so that I can easily um, see what I got. Yeah, exactly. As Olga said in the comments. And for moon shadows as for Starburst. Yes. Okay. I think it's looking really cool and quite vintage. Mm -hmm. We are making it looking even more cool now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm adding more splatters. I love splatters. Did I say that? <laughs> okay. Um, with fairy garden green. Okay. So I should pick something else. Um, I think some dark blue is going to look fantastic. So I pick my very favorite from Ever and Ever, that is the Tainted Love Teal. Mm. That's a gorgeous one. Susanna asks, Natalie, are you using a book for the basics? Is it not arcing? Like bending? Um... No, because um, I always glue a few pages together. So while working my way through the book, I always get out some signatures so that it doesn't get too bulky. And then I always take two or three sides or pages and glue them together. So I have something more sturdy to work on. Okay. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> In case you wonder, guys, I'm using my watercolor book. It's 300 grams. So even if you see now that it's bending a little bit, tomorrow it will be completely flat. Thank you, Olga. Tainted Love Teal, one of my favorites. Yes, you know, this is my love. The day that they remove it from the chair, I will die. <laughs> Woohoo, splatters, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's such an easy way to add some in uh, interesting but also flat texture to the page. Hey, Blanche, hello. Let me show you something. When you are drying the Starburst sprays and you dry a little bit, the shimmer is already in the paper dry. And now you have on top is a little bit of the liquid. So you can go with your 
paper, kitchen paper, and remove the excess, and you will get just the shimmer. Look at that. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, I got it, I got it. You know, guys, I'm not very good at following the rules because I can <laughs> see that, you know, Natalie is really respecting that empty space. And I only have the empty space here. <laughs> and it's not a lot. <laughs> so you do better than me and leave more empty space, okay? <laughs> Be good, guys. Just do a quick clean up here. Cleaning the table. I love that. <laughs> cleaning the table. Yes. People in the chat, you know I love cleaning the table. <laughs> <laughs> Perfecto. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> so I think we have a nice background now. I know, Sam, I know you cannot promise to respect the white space. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shamela said, in craft rules, in craft? Okay. Rules are meant to be broken. I call it artistic license. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Natalie, your table covered with glass? Yeah. It's... Um... It's such a glass plate, uh, usually meant for the kitchen. <laughs> oh, that's very cool. Yeah, that's cool because it looks uh, quite nice and is easy to clean. <laughs> yeah, clever. Yes. <laughs> okay, we are ready. Shoo, shoo. Wonderful. So I'm getting out some die cuts. <laughs> so I have prepared Okay, so some. we are moving this <laughs> apart. Uh, I have those here. Mm, die cuts, die cuts. I need to think what do I want to use. So I have something here that's from uh, Paper Rose Studio and they have some large open areas here. So when you put them on top, uh, you can still see a lot of the background. Okay. So another way to embrace open space. <laughs> You see, guys, open space again. So in the rules of the mini challenge, you will see the open space in the background, as Natalie did, not me, not so much. <laughs> and also <laughs> when you use the dice, use this outline it, you know, so you can see through. That is also for the challenge. So I got my flowers. They are from Renke, in case you are wondering. Okay, it comes with also this, but I don't use it. So it's artist flower set number 08. And it's really, really pretty. It looks like that. So I'm using only the outlines. And I think we are going to emboss that, right? Yes. <laughs> so I'm taking my uh, Versa Mark ink pad and just inking them very generously. <laughs> okay. So, uh, any specific color? Um, I have chosen uh, Gnome Berry Bordeaux from okay. the new set also, um, which has a reddish brown tone. So I think that would match my page very well. <laughs> okay. I have copper, Coleman copper, but I'm really tempted to use the yasin blue jade and i think i'm going to go with the blue and um, this blue when you use it on top of white is going to look different than the way you use it on top of black so i want it to look darker and really cool so i'm using my dyes that are already cut in black cardstock no no so before i start okay karen wait if before I start, if we do not own any outline dies like that, that's part of the contest. You must have the outline dies. You can buy it in three days. <laughs> um, 
I think no, if you it. if you find any way to add open space, that's totally fine. Yeah, exactly. So you can use any dice, just don't fill the page with them. <laughs> <laughs> Anne said, Sam said, I need the new set too. <laughs> yeah, you need the enchanted forest. For Everything. sure. Uh, everyone should have the set. <laughs> and that's a really good that is a really good idea, Sam. Sam said that instead of using the dice, she could use chipboards. Oh yes. That's a good idea. I don't know how many of these flowers I'm going to use, but just in case I'm going to embolse them all. I just emptied my little jar here. <laughs> Uh, it will be great to clean my fingers. <laughs> so I'm not going to get stuck with everything. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Woo. So I also. Whoops, sorry for that. You can notice grab. that we are really focused because we are quiet. <laughs> I want to just say that just a moment. <laughs> yeah, it's a stunning color. Caroline said, I have the new Enchanted Forest and Boston Powder. They are gorgeous. Well, all the merit goes... Uh, merit? Is that a word in English? I don't know. We will clap our hands for Tracy, our boss, that she designed those colors. Mm -hmm. They match so well the set of uh, sprays and magicals. It's, it's unbelievable. Okay. I already have power everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Hila said, I have to buy those embossing powder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was long since the last time that Lindy is released embossing powder. I, I think the last one were the chunky and the um, um, detailed. Yes. So it was very exciting to come back with some embossing powder. So, I'm now checking how I want to add these to my page. Gills, Susanna said that you have working really synchronously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it's, it's 
really fun that you said that because it's the first time that we work together. Okay, so. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> I will cut them. Anna said, Linda should change the jars for the powder too wider and shorter for easier powder return to jar. Also, you can dip the chip there. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean, but it's not so easy to find jars uh, that then can be closed properly and ship overseas. So they do what they can, <laughs> but don't worry. I will tell them, I will let them know. Okay, I can see this is not so well. Um, they are not giving me the contrast I want, so I'm going to do something extra. Okay. I'm going to add the copper on top of the blue. So I, I will have a little bit more of cool. contrast. No, but this is it's great that you let let us know, Anna, because you are the final customers, and it's always uh, to have uh, it's always good to have your opinion. You are also using this, so it's good to know, and they are always thankful for this kind of comments. Like an embossing pool. <laughs> Hi, Tracy, how are you? Our Timmy, Tracy, Hickman is here also. So good to see you all, guys. Okay, what did I do with the baby wipe here? So now I'm going to add uh, the Coleman Cooper. I need a new jar because I'm running out of this color. So I will uh, glue my die cuts down now. Um, I have some very liquid matte medium in a fine uh, fine tip bottle. Okay. Which makes it easy to apply the glue to these very intricate dies. <laughs> okay. Well, I might get some tweezers. level of concentration.
Okay, great. So I'm bringing my high level of concentration, exactly. <laughs> Um, where's my glue here? <clears throat> Mine doesn't want to stick today. <laughs> Embossing is the best know. feeling ever. Who invented it? I don't know, but it's so, uh, you know, so good when you emboss it and it melts and it changes the color. It's, it's <laughs> something fantastic. You, you are right. Seems like my glue is not working on top of this modeling paste here. Okay, so I think I need to check where to add this little guys. Where am I? Why did this appear here? <laughs> it's a delicate moment you know guys because adding the glue to this intricate thing requires some concentration So we added a lot of texture to the page. Um, so when you are trying to glue the dies, you will need to hold them a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> no, no, where is the, what is that cute picture from? Did you take that yourself? No, 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 Hila. This is, these are yeah, the photos that I picked from the internet. Uh, when I find the author of the photo, the photographer, I try to ask for permission, um, but I'm not always able to find all the photographers. So I'm just using them. Um, I hope they don't mind. If they do, they will let me know, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but as I'm not making money with them, I'm not selling the pieces or I'm not selling the photos, I think it's okay to use them. And of course, if I find the author, I will credit that person when I post the photo of my journals. A few um, databases where you can find uh, license-free pictures. Yeah, that's also true. Um, no, no, which glue are you using now? I'm using the craft glue from Stamperia. It's similar to the Cola Extra Forte, uh, but this one is a little bit more liquid and it has this thin tip. It's very similar to Nubo, but when using something that you had heat emboss, you have some plastic because embossing powder is just that, plastic. So I discovered this one is great. Uh, it's really working so well. So, yeah. Mine that's doesn't what I want use. to work. <laughs> Priscilla, uh, what is that stencil you use in the background called? Mine is from Alexandra Renke. It's called North Pole. 
Natalie um, first is from <laughs> Studio Light and it's called Circles Artists Atelier number 63. Exactly. Anyway, don't worry because then after the live stream, I will ask Natalie for the list of supplies she used and I will write them down in the video. You will find everything. Tracy asks, Natalie, did you use the new Enchanted Forest Embossing Powder Bordeaux? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I think I will add this little guy here. Yes. Yvonne said, love the embossing on the die cuts. Yeah, it's a great adding to the page. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> oh my God, so many people. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it's really video. encouraging when you come to the live stream, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy asks, did you both coordinate your backdrops? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> but I start thinking we were sister in a previous life or something. <laughs> Nuneka, where do you find your paper dolls? <laughs> Again, they are just photos I pick from the internet. I always try to contact the photographer to ask for permission. Uh, sometimes I cannot find that person. Um, then I take the risk and use it. Uh, but as Natalie said, there are some places out there that you can get uh, photos with uh, free license that you can use. Cassiopeia said, I don't have time to write. There is powder everywhere. I'm afraid to sneeze. Oh my God. <laughs> we have all been there. I promise you. Just the other day, one of the girl, Lindy's girls said in our group that she mixed it. <laughs> A couple of them. And yeah, we, ho we all have been there too. <laughs> Create the new colors, you know. <laughs> okay, I have all my tippies already glued. Cool, cool, very cool. I really like it. Yay! I came with my photo already fussy cut. <laughs> Me, I. <laughs> And she said, better powder than glitter. I totally agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> My husband always says that I think there is a fairy living with us because there is glitter <laughs> all over the house. <laughs> uh, My husband got a little uh, sparkle addiction, I think. <laughs> Uh, we are, are like magpies, you know, these birds that love shimmery stuff and, mm -hmm. and they steal it. We are like that. <laughs> <laughs> so my hubby and I, we, we share a craft room. So he does all those uh, woodworking stuff and has a, yeah, a really 
he has a thing for 3D printing. So, Oh, wow. yeah, but that's really cool because we spend a lot of time down here. And Okay. uh, so we always are in exchange about what we are doing and share our excitement, even if it's something totally different we're doing. And um, this week I created some ATCs. I haven't shared them yet, but I uh, just handed them over to him so he can have a look and uh, give his opinion. And then I found him turning on his lamp uh, or his light and taking the ATC and shaking it un <laughs> under the light. That's so cool! <laughs> and I thought... Uh, I asked him what he was doing, and he said, Oh, I wanted to see the sparkle. <laughs> So he said I was... that he could make die cuts for you. <laughs> yeah, he um, he will cut some MDF pieces for me. I uh, already made a wish list for him. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's So really Tracy cool. is also asking, Natalie, what is your photo from? Uh, I think I got this from Pixels, which is one of those uh, yeah, platforms where you can find license-free uh, images. So, just <laughs> okay, there is something very cool going on in the chat. So Oriana said, I love a sparkle, but hate glitter. And then Karen said, Oriana, glitter is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> and Cassiopeia replied, I know, dear. Welcome to the club, sneezing and unavailable. Unfortunately, in the new powder, there is glitter. <laughs> 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 and Karen said, I could convert those who don't like glitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. That's really cool. <laughs> so, whenever I, I cut. those images um, I take a brush pen pit artist pen mm -hmm. and uh, go around the edges so that it doesn't stand that much because you always have that white cutting edge and especially when you have a dark outline or a darker image um, this shows very much and I think this way it blends a bit better Yeah, to the page then That's what I use the archival ink to ink my photos because uh, mm -hmm. for printing my photos, I use matte paper as I don't like glossy paper. So I use photographic matte paper so I can easily ink it. Yeah. <coughs> so, and I'm just, I'm using some foam tape to glue her down. Uh, so she stands out a little bit more. <laughs> They are going on with the glitter thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oriana said, I have glitter on very unnamed parts of my body after a resting project <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> And Karen replied, Oriana, your husband would like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are adding something in the back, like for extra dimension a little bit. Yes. So I will add some pieces of cardstock, thin cardstock. Yeah, glitter is a great topic. <laughs> <laughs> I still have that graphite paste over all my fingers. <laughs> Okay. 
My name is Kasia and I'm addicted to glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Kas Karen said, Kasia, we need an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I, I'm unable to copy this. Come on, let's go. Okay, ah, oh, better. Fantastic, thank you. <laughs> so, let's glue. The intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should found a glitter agency then. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So I have some found words here. So I'm having a few, especially poetry books that I'm <clears throat> cutting from time to time. Oh, that's so pretty. Such a mm -hmm. nice idea. Because you, we had a little bit of serendipity <laughs> that comes to your art journal with that and um when i don't want uh don't really feel creative i'm always spending an hour or two browsing through my poetry books cutting some phrases that that i like and uh store them in a little box i like that Hmm. I have my art by my learn by Marlene stickers, and I'm looking for a, a one that I like. I already uh, <laughs> choose my my quote in beforehand, <laughs> but I can show you this little drawer here. I have. I have to get stuff to the side. <laughs> So, <laughs> so that's one of those drawers. Oh. Uh, I just uh, cut them, collect them, and when I'm working on a project, I just go through them, looking for something that will match my page. And um, you always get something very interesting together this way, I think. <laughs> I have That's a little really cool. addiction to <laughs> to these words. Hmm. So I will stick them here using my matte medium again, hoping that it will really stick there because I have no graphite paste underneath. <laughs> Okay, I found a cool one. And I'm going to stick it to a piece of black cardstock to make it a little bit more sturdy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Hadri. Oriana said, I used to love poetry. Now my soul is more into snarky sentiments. My page of <laughs> yesterday said, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I like these Art Bar My Lamb stickers. They are quite snarky, <laughs> some of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, so.
Nuneka, what paper are you using for printing the photos? Also, are you using your own printer? Yes, um, I will show you in a second. I'm using photography paper, but it's matte. And yes, I use my printer at home. That is a good one. Not, not laser, it's a ink one, but it's quite good. So give me a second that I'm holding this so it's going to stay and I will show you. <laughs> So this is the paper I, I use. It's Epson archival matte paper, and it's um, 189 grams. And I like it because it's matte. Okay. Do you cover the photos with clear gesso? No, I cannot cover these photos with clear gesso because the paper is matte and I don't have laser printer, it's ink. But if I want to protect them, I will use Distress Microglaze, which is some kind of wax, but it's not liquid. It doesn't have any water on it. So it's not going to remove the ink. So I can go around with my finger and protect the photo with it. Little bit. And now it's completely sealed and safe. That's what I do. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so I think we are done, or what? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Andy asks, do you protect the wall page? No. I mean, this is in a book, so there is no risk that it's going to be ruined by the sun or anything. But in case you need to protect the paper, the page, or any project you do with Lindis, again, Distress microglaze because it's not going to reactivate your lindies. It's safe. I love this challenge, Natalie. It's fantastic. Your project is amazing. And I, I have had so much fun. <laughs> and you are a great teacher. <laughs> nice to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe so, we will have the chance for another life somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't die on a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do a close up for people. Yeah, and we get the sound. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, and that shimmer. <laughs> yeah, all that shimmer. Haha. <laughs> It's great. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so once again, I'm going to show you the rules for the mini challenge. Uh, okay, here they are. So create a new project for the challenge following Natalie's signature style, which is respect wide or open space, more than me, guys, <laughs> both in the single elements and the project layout. Add a vintage touch, use a person as a focal point, okay? And it's mandatory to use at least three products from Lindis and list them on your post. There are two ways of participating. You can upload one photo of your project to the album on Lindis Creative Gang Facebook group, or you can share it on Instagram with the hashtag Lindis Signature Style Natalie and tag Lindy's gang, okay? The deadline is February 23rd, midnight in Hawaii, and you can win a $25 voucher for Lindy's store. Yay! <laughs> That's it. Cool. Uh, Tracy asked for my quote, uh, and it reads, the idea of revolution, insubstantial as smoke, and mask yourself to escape exposure. 
Wow. Yeah, that's, that's what you came else, up with when, huh? when you cut poetry books. <laughs> that's really cool. I should start doing that. I need poetry blue books in English. I don't have any. I, can... I accept donations. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you a recommendation. I have this uh, vintage book of poetry from, I think it was Penguin. I don't know. Okay. So vintage book of contemporary word poetry i want to write it down and i will forget really cool and you see there <laughs> got a lot of mm, uh, yeah, I holes see. in there <laughs> how was again the, the title of the book a uh, vintage book of contemporary word poetry vintage book of contemporary word poetry Okay, I will look for it. <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, have me ask, does the project have to be an art journal page or it can be another format? It could be another format, but it would be great if you do art journal pages and we do a boom on Instagram with a lot of art journal pages, don't you think? It will be really cool, but it's up to you guys. So, thank you so much, Natalie. Um, thank for you for having me. <laughs> I really have had a lot of fun. I love to have this page on my art journal that I'm filling with a lot of lindies. <laughs> yeah. I know you guys, you like flip rules. So, <laughs> all that is lindies, 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 lindies. So I have a lot of Lindis in here too. Yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> Not fit in. I like that. Ooh, yeah, that's that was, a really cool one. That was actually one of my first projects that I've done for Lindis. <laughs> uh huh. This one has also Lindis and cracker paste. <laughs> Perfect that's combination. That's so cool. Yeah. I see a lot of meaning in your pages. It's, it's really <laughs> your thing, yeah. yeah you can see, is. guys, that what we did today is really her signature style. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys. I really hope you participate in the project. Um, very soon you will have a new signature style live stream in Linda's channel. So click that button bell button and select all notifications and um, yeah thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> yeah it okay. was nice to be uh here with you and uh, with all the other guys joining our little party <laughs> thank you guys and see you very soon yeah, bye thank you bye